Valley Cider is a great example of how an attempt to save a historic Vermont family farm created a gourmet product with high demand. Faced with a changing world and changing markets, Hall Home Place introduced their ice cider in 2009, and the rest is history. Ice cider is made by storing ripe apples in cold storage. Then they are pressed to make sweet cider, which is then frozen outside to concentrate natural sugars and flavor. Defrosting the cider produces a concentrate which is fermented, then aged for months to achieve the uniquely fine natural taste of Hall's ice cider. The Hall family came to Isle of Vermont around 1795 and started a traditional family farm growing crops and dairy products until the late 1960s. The orchard was planted with pears and 11 varieties of apples, including Macintosh, Cortland, Empire, and Red Delicious. These early varieties of apples became the main crop. Generations of halls grew up in the stone farmhouse over the last 200 years, nurturing the land, hunting, harvesting, and tending the orchard. During recent decades, the rise of corporate farms and increasingly international markets forced many family-owned farms in Vermont and across the nation out of business. Facing pressure and hoping to save the family farm, the Hall family looked for new activities and new products to develop. A cafe was opened in the old carriage house, buildings were renovated, and investigations began on creating a fine ice cider. Hall's Ice Cider was born and became an instant success. The annual production cycle begins in the spring, after the long, cold Vermont winter. In May, the apple blossoms open, turning the orchard into a floral wonderland. Next, the bees go to work, carrying pollen from tree to tree. Although apple tree blossoms have a stamen and a stigma, they cannot self-fertilize and require cross-pollination. Bees are a critical link in this chain of life. In late summer, the nearby fields are at their peak and the farm prepares for fall harvest. In September, plump apples hang heavy on the branches and migrant picking specialists arrive to help with this intensive work. Ripe apples are selected from each tree in the orchard, leaving the rest to continue ripening. Then the pickers return to the first trees again and repeat the process over and over until all the apples have been ripened and harvested. Apples are treated with great care to preserve their natural value. Apples are placed in nearby crates and then are sorted by grade. As harvest ends, filled crates stack up, organized by grade and variety. The apples used to produce ice cider are placed in cold storage. During the early winter months, they undergo a process called cryoconcentration, which concentrates natural sugars and flavor. When it's time for processing, apple crates are brought out of a cold storage and loaded onto the tractor's forklift. The apples are then picked clean of any remaining stems or leaves and washed. Hall's Ice Cider is made with a secret blend of different ratios of several apple varieties to achieve a uniquely fine gourmet flavor. Apples are poured into the grinder, and the mash is pumped into state-of-the-art hydraulic presses. The presses are then sealed shut, and a valve is turned on to allow water to fill bladders, squeezing the pulp and extracting the sweet, cold, concentrated cider. 
The cider is then stored outside in totes for further cryoconcentration until late January. Then the totes are brought inside one by one, carefully defrosted and blended to achieve a uniform concentration level. This uniformly blended concentrate is then stored in large stainless steel fermentation vessels and extra stock is placed in large bottles called carboys. The next step is cultivating the yeast. First, the yeast is precisely weighed. Next, a sugar solution is prepared with exacting measurements. Then, the dry yeast is bathed in this glucose solution for four hours to activate it. The next step is called yeast inoculation. When the yeast is ready, it is placed in weighted bags. The fermentation tanks are opened, and the yeast bag is hung from the underside of the lid to ensure that all the cider in the tank circulates past it evenly during the fermentation process. The concentrated cider then undergoes fermentation for several weeks. Just before the fermentation process brings the alcohol content to the desired level, between 7 to 13% by volume, the yeast is removed and fermentation goes to a stop at the proper point. Hitting this target is an art form and results from a combination of careful testing, timing, and selection of yeast. Ice cider tasting events happen at numerous venues throughout the year, on site and at events such as art festivals and concerts. In the fall, Hall Home Place hosts vendors for a local harvest festival on Theodore Roosevelt Day, a local holiday commemorating the conservation president's visit to the island in 1901. This festival provides ample opportunities for the public to sample and enjoy Hall's fine ice cider.